What's scleroderma? Scleroderma is another autoimmune disease that affects the skin, and it causes very, very tight skin, so that the skin gets tacked down to the underlying tissue. And when you look at it, the skin becomes very tight, almost like you put saran wrap over the skin and pulled on it. It loses the hair follicles, so it's a shiny area of skin that looks abnormal. There are many forms of scleroderma. Some of them are limited to just skin disease. It's also called morphia. And they're just patches of abnormal skin, but it doesn't affect the internal organs at all. And then there are types of scleroderma that could affect internal organs, but in a limited fashion. It's not as widespread. And there's a final type of scleroderma that can be very progressive, and it can affect the internal organs, and it can cause tightening of the skin throughout the whole body. And that's certainly the most severe type of scleroderma. How do you treat that? It's also treated by suppressing the immune system. So we give medications that try to stop the immune system from attacking the body. And that we treat very aggressively because we know that that's a disease that can be very serious. Again, if it's the mild form only affecting the skin, very different types of medicine than if it's the systemic form. Is any particular age more likely you'll see it than any other age in pediatrics? It tends to be children who are a little bit older, so again, around pre-puberty, but it can start younger.